Hi guys, my name is Prince Sethi and today we are going to learn while loop. Okay, so in my previous video we have learned how if statements get worked, but in some instances we have to take lots of decision. In if statements we have learned if we have to take decision, like if this value is true then what will be the condition, what would be the statement that we have to execute or if the condition gets false then what we have to do. But in some instances we have to take lots of decision I mean to say on each and every point we have to take decisions so in that particular scenario if statements gets not remain feasible so over there uh, loops gets come into the picture so the first loop that we are going to learn is called VB uh, sorry while so let's see how uh, while gets worked over here so but prior to that just just have a look on while statements uh, sorry while loops how it's been been executed so in while loop we do have like while is there and after that we'll put some conditions over there conditions okay what condition whatever it is and after that the statement that 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 you want to execute like statements would be there and after that w end w end mean to say while ends so okay it will start from here check the condition if it's true then do this stuff and after that get vents and after that again comes over there again check the condition if still it's been true then do again this task and again when so this circles get continued till the condition gets false okay so I'm taking example so that uh, you can uh, understood it bit accurately like I have to print 1 to 10 so my condition is that if firstly it will print 1 so if 1 is less than 10 then it gets increment by 1 and print 2 the same way if 2 is still less than or uh, 2 is still smaller than 10 then again incremented by 1 and it will print 3 and so on till the time it's not uh, gets greater than 10 like if when it will be reached to 11 <coughs> I'm sorry 11 then the condition gets false and it will be stopped its execution and that's it okay so let's see how it could be worked through while loop so I'm going to VBA editor okay this is my editor I'm uh, inserting a modules over here okay so just typing my codes over here like sub while loop 1 okay so what I have to do like I have to print 1 2 3 so I need a variable which will hold my these value like uh, that variable would be I and I would require one more variable which will capture my row information like on a 8th row it will be type 1 on 9th row it will type 2 on 10th it would be 3 and so on so forth so I need two variable both were uh, of number time so I have to take it as an teaser so like dim i as in teaser same way I can take another variable dim r as in teaser so my condition would be okay so as of now i and r both are blank null empty okay so we have to give at least its starting position yes starting value means from how it could it could be start from where it has to be start like I my I would be start from 1 and my starting row would be mm, 8th my st starting row would be 8th so my condition is while I less than or is equals to 10 okay I'm making it close as of now okay so if i is less than 10 i as of now it's 1 1 if 1 is less than 10 then print i where i needs to be printed on sheet 1 dot range like it has to be printed on a8 a8 dot value is equals to i uh, okay i on a8 in the i values i like i i would be first one at that time and it gets printed over there so if you see over there like I'm just executing this thing and one gets printed but the thing is a 
the range a8 is constant as of now if i'll just go through this loop then i would get 2 and it will again replace to 1 like if you just continue this with this loop okay right now i gets 2 and oh sorry i haven't uh, increment in i so i is still 1 so it's again remain same so it always less than 10 and your loops gets into infinite so it will never stop fine so i need that every time i'll just run this loop so i has to be incremented by 1 mean to say i is equals to i plus 1 so if you see this thing <coughs> i'm executing this thing i is 1 as of now 1 gets printed now i becomes 2 so i 2 is printed on a8 just because a8 is a constant value that we have uh, given to it so if you execute same it will be printed on the same 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 positions but all you want it will not remain constant <coughs> so it has to be a and whatever the row number we have given i means whatever the row we have defined over here so as of now it will be printed on a8 even this would be remain constant as of now just because we have given r as a constant value 8 but we haven't made any increment in r so let's see like a printed to printed but just because r is not going to be incremented so i want every time i my loop gets executed the row values also been incremented so what i need to do over here like i have to increment in r as well so r should be r plus 1 so if you see <coughs> i'm just making it stop and just rerun the same macro so 1 is printed 2 is printed and so on if you just execute the entire code in a one go i'm just press pressing f5 so if you see it's working perfectly fine so just because we have incremented in i we have incremented in r as well but right now i want uh, <coughs> there should be the increment of two rows every time so what i need to do is like i have to just make it two nothing else so let's see how it's been working uh, like if you see over there one gets printed two gets printed just because i'm taking every time r should get incremented by two same way if you execute this thing like this way if you have to run this the same code uh, in descending order you can make this way also like i start from 10 and if i is greater than or equals to 1 so all you want okay i'm getting one one more sub procedure okay so i start from 10 if it's a greater than or equals to 1 okay and i need i should be subtract by 1 okay so i'm putting it into b okay and making it 2 as well okay let's see so 10 gets printed after that again the difference of two rows eight seven six and so forth okay so increment or decrement whatever it is like i'm taking one more example more situation like how you can deal with the while loop in your day-to-day -day life uh, okay so like i do have few values i'm just taking few dummy values okay so like value 1 value 2 and i have to do some of these two values okay like i do have some dummy values okay so like i do have uh, these value over here 
okay I want 5 plus 10 15 should have to be there again 9 plus 2 11 will be there it gets them every time till this particular cells gets blank okay so let's see how it's been working over there so like I'm creating one more sub procedure sub wahil u3 okay so I have to start from here like my row number would be 9 row would be 9 okay so so my condition should be wahil range a and r dot value is not equals to blank so till the time it's not been blanked it remain executed okay so so this is my condition and i want um, okay so a and r and b and r so s is equals to s is another variable so the value of okay what i'm doing as of now so range a and r dot value gets put into uh, like uh, variable x same way b and r dot value gets put into y <coughs> okay so x and y gets summed up so s is equals to x plus y okay so all are uh, of it is a type so i can take this we also dim x s integer dim y s integer dim r s integer dim s s integer as well fine so whatever the value comes in s it has to be pasted over here like it should be based on c and whatever the r's value okay so i want range c and r dot value would be s fine so the next thing that's to mean over here that i have to make an increment of one line each and every time so r is equals to r plus one fine so hopefully it has to be work so let's see so if you see 15 gets exhibiting over here same way 11 and same way like if you see i'm just just go through this this code and that's it so if you see it's working perfectly fine so i hope you have understand this and enjoyed the while loop thank you for watching thank you so much